Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. And today's gonna be a different kind of video, as you can tell. <laughs> I'm doing a face video for a mouse pad review. This is gonna be a, probably a new style of content if I do continue to do this. So hopefully we do, and just leave a like if you do enjoy face content. But today we're gonna be talking about the Lamzu Energon and just all my thoughts and a quick short review on the mouse pad itself. If you see me glancing over to the right, that's gonna have a script so I can read it easily so don't mind that i don't think there's much to say when it comes to this mouse pad it is an amazing mouse pad and unmatched when you're looking for a speed pad but it's not going to be a top recommendation for me just simply because of a couple of gripes i have with it with older mice that some people may use to this day so let's talk about this pad Let's talk about the pros. This mouse pad comes in at a normal $35 price point plus shipping, which is anywhere between $5 to $10, depending on where you're getting it from and what region you're living in. The mouse pad is from China, so if you're in that China region, it should be a little bit cheaper. I live in America, so shipping is about $10 from Lanzu's site directly, but it is available on Alice, Max Gaming, Zerk Gaming Mods, a couple of other websites if you wanted to pick it up from there. It is sized at 480 by 410 millimeters. I find this to be a really good size for mouse pads. It is slightly smaller than Artisan XL mouse pads and Lethal Gaming Gear Pro Series mouse pads, but it's not an uncomfortable pad to use. For me, coming from the Sky Pad, which is 500 by 400, it was just a slight adjustment because it's larger on the width and shorter on the height. So I'm just kind of used to how much vertical movement I have on the mouse pad. But if you're coming from something like a 600 by 500 mouse pad like the Wales Wall Hut or Smooth Criminal, this might be a bigger change because it is a much smaller mouse pad compared to his very awkwardly sized 600 by 500 millimeters. But you should be able to adjust fine just based on it being a normal size 490 by 410, 480 by 410, 450 by 450, 450 by 400. It's just normal sizes for mouse pads. The next thing I want to talk about is the surface of the mouse pad. It is really smooth. I would compare it from what I've owned, which is the Artisan Zero and the Lethal Gaming Gear Saturn Pro. I would compare it to the smoothness of that, but other reviewers have compared it to the Artisan Raiden. I don't own it personally, so I can't really fully compare it to that mouse pad, but I can see where people would get that from just based off images I've seen of the Zero. It is a very, very smooth surface and very nice to play on. This mouse pad is a speed pad in every way possible. It feels the fastest on super glides and like dot skates, but pads work very fine as well. I use kind of a mix of all of them. So it really just depends on what I'm feeling on the day. Like I have pads on my Lamzu Atlantis. I have super glides on my super light and I have dots on my HTX. So it's just whichever one I'm using for the day. The super glides are the quickest. Dots are the second quickest. And then pads are the slowest, but all of them are still relatively quick on the mouse pad itself. The stitching is also really, like, really good. I would compare it to Artisan on how it's slightly under the surface of the mouse pad. You don't feel it at all when gaming, and it is, like, the perfect size. It's really small, really tight. It's very well stitched for a $35 mouse pad. I really feel like this is a top contender for a good mouse pad if it wasn't for the issues that I have with the mouse pad later on in this video. The logo is in a perfect spot. It's very small, not noticeable. You would never notice it where it is in the bottom right corner. It's very small, tiny. I think it is stitched on the pad and not into the weave itself, but it's not something I noticed being an issue when using the mouse pad. If you're a low sense aimer, you're not going to notice that being an issue playing if it was in the top corner, bottom corner. If you play the pad vertically like some people do, they want the height and not the width. So it's a well-positioned logo. I really do appreciate that. But let's get to talking about some of the issues that I have with the mouse pad. So I recently picked up the Zowie FK2B from someone on the mouse market. It is a custom FK2B with core pads, ultralight two cable, and a weight cut 71 grams. It is a very, very good mouse with good coating. I can see the hype with Zowie products. I've never owned one before, so this was a really good experience going from something I'm familiar with, like the HTX or the... Lamzu Atlantis to the FK2B, like the founder of the shape, I guess. Don't quote me, <laughs> but that's what I've heard other people say. But the sensor implementation on this mouse spins out on this mouse pad. It has been a very frustrating experience because I just got the mouse like two days ago and I've been enjoying it. It's a very good mouse. I've been using it with my Zero, I've been using it with my Sky Pad, and I've had no issues with any of the, those mouse pads. But on the Lamzu Energon, I don't know what it is. 
but I would go for kills in Valorant. This is the main game I play, and the sentry would just spin out. It doesn't work for some reason. And another issue that I have with the mouse pad, I believe it's affected by humidity. I don't know the best way to put it, but a couple weeks ago, it was storming really badly here where I live in southern Michigan. It's just, it felt damp at all times, and none of my other mouse pads felt like that. The rest are very well built when it comes to how they react in humidity. But this one just, it slowed down a lot to the point where it's like an awkward playing speed with compared to how the texture of the mouse pad is. So if you do live in a very humid environment, I would just kind of stray away from this mouse pad and just go for the Artisan Raiden if you wanted a similar smooth, fast experience. But if you are very interested in a mouse pad, I do think it's a good pickup for $35. This is the only one like it on the market. I've never seen another smooth speed pad like this on the market, but I'm also still very new to buying mouse pads and getting new products. So this might not be the only one, but from my personal experience, this is the only one I've seen that does it like this. Quick editor's note, bad mic. Uh, I forgot to talk about the bass. The bass is very okay. It's like a weird, a weird rubber bass. I wouldn't really use it over anything else. But it is a solid bass, doesn't move when I'm using my mouse at all. So the bass is good enough for the average person, unless you have like a really slippery, non-sticky desk, and I would just kind of stray away from the mouse pad. The bass is very, very, it, it's not the best bass, but it doesn't move while gaming. So that's all I'm saying about the bass. But that concludes my thoughts and re just a quick review of the Lamzu Energon. I feel like for $35, this is the only speed pad worth trying and the only one-to-one -one rating clone from what I've heard others say. I'll put in links in the description if you want to go check the mouse pad out. None of the links are affiliated. I just really feel like the mouse pad is worth the money if you're looking for a smooth speed pad with absolutely no abrasion. It is probably the smoothest playing experience that I've had outside of my Saturn Pro, my Artisan Zero, my GSR. It is probably a mix of that kind of smooth. It's just very nice on the skin. I would never need a sleeve to play on this because the abrasion isn't there. And as I've stated before, I do have a Discord server where you're free to ask any questions or even find people to play with. I will be hosting weekly 10 mans in Valorant, so hopefully you guys can join, play in those, have a little bit of fun. That's all for the video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Hopefully we can get more face videos out there because I'm like kind of insecure, so this is a new thing for me. I haven't done this in like two years. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.